Well, hey everybody, <laughs> we're at the barrack school, and uh, darn, the wind ain't high enough. We were gonna think about going out. <clears throat> and um, as a joke, everybody asked me to kite up first. And I looked at it and I said, wait just a minute. Uh, there must be a reason they're asking me to go out first. And I said, nope, nana, not the. <laughs> I said, um, if you guys ain't kiting up to go out, then I'm, <laughs> I'm not kiting up to go out. The wind is always good here, but there's a storm that had came in earlier today and it rained. And now I'll show you when I get out of the car where the, the cloud bank is. <clears throat> Maybe it'll leave in another hour or so and the wind will be right here, but for right now it's not. So let me see if I can show you what we're looking at as far as uh, the cloud bank. So look back over that way. And basically that is what's messing up us today. Now we will kite this spot. But just think if uh, if you were here and you really didn't have somebody like Brian to help you. He's a Jamaican. He's lived here. He was born here. He's lived here for years and years. He lives in a Hood River also. But let's say you come blind and you don't have no help, nobody to teach or tell you nothing about the kite spots, then you could literally spend a week here and not kite one time. I don't know what the money value of that one time would be for you, but if you got the right person to work with, this is now this is talking to the people that actually own all their equipment, their kiters. You still need a professional guide, somebody like Brian that is a IKO instructor and knows the island good because literally we could jump in a car and within two hours we could find the wind if it's not here in Falmouth. But it just so happens to be that most of the days we can either kite at Burwood Beach or we're going to start coming here to Barrack School. I've never kited Barrack School, but they wanted me up on my kite today first to test the water. And I, I could tell that I was thinking it was a lot of wind when actually it's not. So. When you come to Jamaica, look in the description of this video and you'll find a number for Brian and um, Kimberly and all of uh, our gear and classes and uh, the website that shows you all that. Brian has his own website for Jamaica. It's kitesurfjamaica.com. All right, we're going to chase the wind a little while and like Brian said, we're going to act like tourists and go do touristy things. So, the Polish couple is still with us. <laughs> <laughs> 